This is Access to Experts, where we interview business and professional experts and ask the questions you most want the answers to. Hi, I'm Jodina St. John, and this is Access to Experts. We have a great show today for women who want to be in control of their weight and stop dieting for life. Our special guest is Margie Martin, CEO of Conscious Eating, a company dedicated to helping women get to their natural weight through developing and maintaining a healthy relationship with food and their body. Margie, welcome and thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for inviting me, Jodina. It's a real pleasure to be here. Nowadays, there's a lot of talk about emotional eating. We hear about it on TV and radio. It seems that there's countless articles and magazines on the internet. It's the topic of conversation everywhere we go. Tell us, what exactly is emotional eating? Emotional eating is not being able to manage your feelings, especially the bad ones, and looking for instant gratification in food. That's what we focus on in our conscious eating program. What exactly are you looking for? Because obviously food can't give you anything but what it's designed to do, give you nourishment. Well, who's the Conscious Eating program best suited for? Actually, Conscious Eating should be practiced by everyone, but especially by women who feel they're out of control with their eating and are looking for a new way to deal with their weight issues and problems with food. By the time our clients get to us, they've tried many diets and weight loss programs that have failed to work for them long term. They don't know what else to do. They're often self-conscious and feel guilty about spending time or money on themselves. We offer a safe, supportive environment, free of shame and guilt without diets or deprivation, and a different way of thinking about themselves, food, and their body. You're a licensed marriage and family therapist. You've presented at national conferences on the topic of emotional eating. It's obvious you're passionate about helping women gain control of their weight and their lives. What drives your passion in this area? Jodina, I know what it's like to struggle with weight. My own issues with food and weight started in my late teens. I never felt good about my body, and in my 20s, I discovered the gym and promptly became a compulsive exerciser. I hated my body and unmercifully pounded it through overuse, which caused injuries I still deal with today. The turning point for me was reading a book called Feeding the Hungry Heart by Janine Roth, and it was the first time I got the message that I didn't have to go through life hating my body. I decided then that I was no longer going to abuse myself either physically or verbally and embarked on a path of making friends with my body. This, coupled with therapy, really changed my relationship with food and my body. It was shortly after this that I returned to graduate school and started my career as a therapist with the goal of helping other women discover the freedom and empowerment I had discovered. In 1994, I met Carol Asada, the founder of the Conscious Eating Program. I was so thrilled with the program that I bought into the company, and I've been using this powerful program ever since to transform the lives of countless women and their families. Let's talk about some of the mistakes and misconceptions that you've observed when it comes to weight control. Now, I've done some reading, and uh, you have quite a number of articles out there, and you said that one of the most common mistakes is that people believe that diets work. Tell us more about this concept. People want to believe that diets work for long-term weight loss, despite the fact that 95% of people who lose weight on a diet regain most or all of it. Diets work on the assumption that weight is the problem. Weight is a symptom and not the problem. The problem is eating when you're not physically hungry because you're feeling bad emotionally. So the real problem is emotional eating. You need to become aware of all the things you do or think that make you feel bad about yourself. Those bad feelings make you feel deprived and unlovable and have you running for the fridge. Ultimately, you're left with the feeling that you don't deserve anything better, which makes you feel bad and then you eat the food that comforts you. So it becomes a vicious cycle that results in more and more weight gain. Diets don't work. Most women have already proven that to themselves. It's time to let go of old beliefs that make you feel like a failure. Think of all the diets you've tried. Women believe that they have failed the diet when really the diet has failed them because diets only focus on one aspect of their lives. The Conscious Eating Program teaches you to change the thoughts and behaviors that keep you trapped in a body that's not you. 
So you're saying we need to recognize and accept that diets focus on the outside instead of the inside where the weight problem really is. Now, how do we make that mental shift? Awareness is the first step to this transformation. Let go of the beliefs that keep you hostage in a life of misery and without purpose. Conscious eating starts with you letting go of every disappointment and failure in the past and start living in the present. We will help you become aware of what holds you back or stops you from losing weight and keeping the weight off and what blocks you from achieving your heart's desire in all aspects of your life. Okay, the next mistake you point out is that women believe their weight is their worth. What do you mean by this? They believe their weight is a measure of their worth. The higher it is, the less they deserve. They need to accept that they're worth taking care of no matter what they weigh right now. True change begins from the inside. No matter what changes you make on the outside, you'll always default to what you believe about yourself. If you believe that you'll never lose weight, you'll regain any weight you lost. In addition, if you believe that you're not important, not valuable, not deserving, you'll regain any weight loss plus more. By believing in their worth, they're more likely to take better care of themselves, which will lead to weight loss. I feel sad that so many really awesome women feel like failures because of their size. The weight prevents them from feeling good about all the positive things in their lives. So your weight doesn't dictate your worth? Not at all, Jodina. Margie, you talk about another common mistake that's really interesting in that for some women, dieting is the worst thing they can do. Why is this a mistake? Going on a diet when you're an emotional eater is a big mistake. Women often throw money away on diets without recognizing that they may have an underlying eating disorder. It's very important to honestly assess their eating behavior and determine if they're an emotional eater. If they do have emotional eating issues, dieting is the worst thing they can do to themselves because the diet will magnify the causes of the weight gain by taking away their only source of comfort, food. So if you have an undiagnosed eating disorder, going on a diet will actually backfire and you could gain weight instead of losing it. Very interesting. That's right. Now, the next mistake that you talk about is how some women believe that losing weight will bring true happiness. This must be a common misconception. The real secret to permanent weight loss is in learning what really makes you happy. You don't starve a deprived woman thinking that will make her happy. Most women are unconsciously going through the motions every day without really thinking about what they want or need in their lives. What's really sad is that they don't even know they have choices. That's why we focus on the inside. A lot of women believe that they have to be thin to be happy, but you're saying it's actually the other way around. That makes a lot of sense. Well, Jodina, if you're happy with your life, following your passions, and enjoying healthy relationships, the weight starts to take care of itself because you're no longer using food to fill those voids. We're the only program that will take you through an extreme makeover that begins from the inside. And by extreme makeover, I mean complete changes in how you think about yourself, what you believe about yourself, your relationship with yourself and your body, how you take care of your body, how you take care of your feelings. As you become more conscious of the changes on the inside, your body and weight will change on the outside. Lastly, when looking at the top five mistakes women make when trying to lose weight, you mentioned the idea that you want to take care of yourself and look good no matter what your weight is. Jodina, a lot of women make the mistake of believing that there's no way to look good when you're overweight. A lot of women who have weight issues live in the future. We find that most women will still wear their fat clothes until they reach their target weight, but all that does is make them feel bad. It's the old, I'll stay in my fat clothes and look invisible, which then makes them feel deprived and bad. These are the women who feel that looking stylish, put together, beautiful, powerful is something only thin women can have. It's important to feel good about the way you dress and manage your appearance, no matter what your weight is. I think all women can relate to that. 
Well, Jodina, that's why in week eight of our 12-week program, we have a day at the spa where we pamper you and give you a complete makeover on the outside. You'll have a hairstylist, a makeup artist, and an image consultant work with you to choose the look that's best for you and your lifestyle. This transformation is a powerful experience because you'll become aware of the beliefs that have kept you invisible to yourself and others. Well, Margie, we've gone over the mistakes that women make when trying to lose weight. Now let's talk about some of the questions we should be asking before joining a weight loss program such as yours. The first question they should ask is, how is this program going to help me in the long run? Most diets have a beginning and an end. When the diet ends, the weight comes back. With conscious eating, you learn about yourself and what triggers you to eat unconsciously. You learn how to take care of all your needs so you're not using food to meet your needs. Unlike a diet, the program gives you the tools that become a part of you so you automatically think better and treat yourself better and stop using food as comfort. Most programs have a one-size-fits-all approach. Conscious Eating customizes the program to fit the specific needs of each woman. For permanent change to occur, you have to make changes in your behaviors, thoughts, feelings, and body image. So with Conscious Eating, you're getting an individualized program that teaches you how to care for your needs so you don't end up using food. That's great. Okay, what's the next question to ask to help us assess if the program is something that would benefit us? The next question they should ask Jodina is, how is this program going to help me with my stress eating? Most programs don't address stress eating, but there's a very real and physiological reason why we crave carbs when we're stressed. Most programs don't address this or give tools to deal with stress. Oh, I love it. It's not lack of willpower. There's actually a physiological reason that we crave carbs. There is. That's good to know. Okay, what else should we be looking for in a weight loss program? You should ask yourself, what makes this program special or different from all the other programs out there? Conscious eating doesn't focus on just weight. We focus on the whole woman, body, mind, heart, and soul. We understand it's not the diet, it's the underlying emotional issues that create problems with food, and that's where we focus. Because of this, all of our programs are led by licensed psychotherapists. How do you know if the program's going to work for you? Jodina, that's a good question. The goal of conscious eating is to help women understand and change their relationship with food, weight, and their body. Our success is measured in the changes a woman makes in her food, her eating, and her life. It's impossible to fail in our program because everything you learn in conscious eating will help you meet your goals. I've seen so many of my clients make radical changes in their lives as a result of this program. I've seen women take the risk of changing to a new career because they wanted to be more fulfilled in their work lives. I've watched women transform themselves and get in touch with their love for fashion and clothes because they've learned that it makes them feel more feminine. But most importantly, I've watched women come alive instead of putting their lives on hold for some imagined future time when they would be the perfect weight. Margie, your knowledge and the commitment you have for supporting others really comes through, particularly when you look at the guarantee that you offer. Can you share that with us? I guarantee that conscious eating will transform your relationship with food in your body. Every person who has experienced our program reports changes in how they think about eating and how they think about their body. We're all programmed to think negatively about ourselves, especially women, but if we don't love something, we don't take care of it. Diets teach us that our body is our enemy and puts us at war with our bodies. We want to change that. If you felt that you haven't had this change after attending our program, we invite you to experience each aspect of the program as often as you wish with no additional charge. Margie, you have shared some great information with us, and I know that there's many in our audience who will want to get in touch with you. How can they reach you? I can be reached by phone at 1-800-643-7711, or they can visit my website at www.dietless.com. Also, I have a great gift for your audience. They can download our Be In Your Body meditation for free by visiting the website at dietless.com. Listening to this short meditation on a regular basis 
really helps the process of becoming more conscious in your body. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today, Margie. Your energy and passion for life are definitely inspiring. Thank you, Jodina. It's been my pleasure. I'm Jodina St. John, and this has been another segment of Access to Experts with our very special guest, Margie Martin. Again, you can visit her website at dietless.com. This has been Access to Experts, where we interview business and professional experts and ask the questions you most want the answers to. 